Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Lydia Colbita. And I'm Tristan Begum. Workers at the Amazon facility in Skodak have rejected a proposal to form a union. The votes were counted this morning after the remaining ballots were cast yesterday. Union organizers hoping workers at the Skodak facility could follow in the footsteps of a warehouse on Staten Island, which became the first Amazon facility in the U.S. to unionize earlier this year. Now the company claimed that forming a union would not be in the workers' best interest, but union organizers say that this fight is not over. News 10 ABC Skylar Eagle has more reaction to the results and what comes next. Amazon workers at the Skodak warehouse voted against joining a union two to one. Today's outcome um, wasn't what we had hoped for. Votes were counted at the National Labor Relations Board in Albany by representatives from the board. The organizers of the union say they were fighting for better negotiating power and treatment from Amazon after repeated claims of poor working conditions and pay. Organizer Heather Goodall says alleged union busting deterred their efforts. Amazon has neglected to share the fact that we are in a status quo, that uh, we do have an opportunity for enhanced benefits and higher wages. Amazon Labor Union President Chris Smalls issued this statement. We're also feeling both anger and disappointment that the voting process wasn't free and fair. It was a sham election where workers were subjected to intimidation and retaliation on a daily basis. And even the workers who volunteered to be election observers were faced with threats of termination. With union efforts now defeated, Goodall says the fight is far from over. Amazon released a statement in response to the vote saying, we're glad that our team in Albany was able to have their voices heard and that they chose to keep the direct relationship with Amazon, as we think that is the best arrangement for both our employees and customers. We will continue to work directly with our teammates in Albany, as we do everywhere, to keep making Amazon better every day. It's a great victory today, and I'm very proud because you know what? 206 people stood up against this trillion dollar company, this billion dollar bully, and said, I want a voice. Reporting in Albany, Skyler Eagle News 10, ABC.